Greetings fans, and welcome to another show. I am your host Crazy, and you are watching Powered Toys. Figures. To celebrate yet another BotCon, BotCon 2007, I wanted to take this opportunity to do a segment on an exclusive figure. And that figure is Transformers Collectors Club exclusive Astro Train. This figure was available only to members of the Transformers Collectors Club. Astro Train comes in this delightful collector's box with character art on the front two of the minicons on one side, the other two on the other side, and all the legal mumbo jumbo on the ends. Now the box opens with the top sliding right off, and inside you are displayed with the foam insert with Astro Train in the center and the minicons surrounding him. You definitely get what you pay for as far as presentation goes in the box and, you know, in addition to the figure itself. Now, I don't want to spend too much time talking about how Astro Train here is actually a homage to G1 Astro Train because, frankly, there are far more interesting things to be said about this exclusive set. The first of which being that this figure was originally intended to be part of the Transformers Universe line. His name is going to be Space Warp, and he was going to include the uh, Armada Space Minicon team. Test shots for the figure started showing up about April of 2004, and in June of the same year, started showing up in Toys R Us computers as a store exclusive. Um, that would not last, however, because he got the axe and was cancelled, and the line wouldn't last much longer after that as well. We wouldn't see the figure again until he was revealed as the Transformers Club exclusive on their site, TransformersClub.com. Now, Astro Train here actually features a new head sculpt designed by Dan Cannon of the Transformers Club comic. And it looks just like the, uh, or rather it's inspired by Generation 1 Astro Train. And that's pretty much all I'll say about the homage to G1 Astro Train. Let's talk about the Minicons, though. Here are the four Minicons that come with Astro Train. We have Star Catcher, Astro Hook, Astro Line, and Astro Sinker. Now, there's nothing terribly out of the norm for Star Catcher. He's the typical Minicon that comes with the Transformers Armada Jetfire Mold. In Shuttle Mode, uh, Star Catcher forms the landing gear. As for the other, <coughs> excuse me, as for the other three minicons, um, repaints of the giant minicon team for Transformers Cybertron. If you remove the Astro prefix of their name, which I'm sure was put there for trademark reasons, you have hook, line, and sinker. Three characters from the Generation 1 Marvel comic book. Hook naturally wielded a hook on one of his arms, and on the other he had a projectile grappling hook. When confronting an enemy, Hook would be first in line su to subdue the victim. Line wielded an energy sword and an en energy net of some kind. After Hook would subdue the enemy, Line would contain him with his net. Sinker wielded a large, heavy metallic sphere at the end of each of his arms. After an enemy was subdued and contained by hook and line, Sinker would move in and render the, the victim immobile. Hook, line, and Sinker were originally hoodlums on a planet devoured by Unicron. Instead of destroying them, he reformatted them and made, his, made them his personal assassins. In issue 67 of the Marvel G1 comic, Unicron had Hook, Line, and Sinker go to an alternate timeline and capture that timeline's Galvatron and retrieve him to the current timeline. In issue 73, Galvatron would, would exact his revenge by killing all three 
While these three Minicons look nothing like the original hook, line, or sinker, the paint applications look great and the molds are just fun. The Giant Minicon, the Giant Planet Minicon team was an excellent choice to repaint for this set. Let's move on to the figure now. I'm going to open up the box and take out Astro Train. Now, one of the things I noticed right away while taking the Minicons out of the package was that they had a lot of elastics on them, which isn't uncommon for any Transformer in the package. Um, the only thing they were missing really were the twist ties, which really are the bane of my existence. That said, when I took Astro Train out, as I am doing right now, no twist ties, no elastics to be seen. I was pleasantly surprised. I'm just going to set the box aside here for a moment so we can get a better look at Astro Train here. Here he is in all of his glory. You can see that great big Decepticon symbol on the shuttle door, uh, shuttle bay doors rather. Um, he is a direct repaint of Transformers Armada Jetfire, with the exception of the new head, excuse me, head sculpt, which I will show you once we transform him. Now, no Transformers review is complete without the transformation, so let's get right to it. Now, the first thing to do is take this little shield slash landing gear off of the bottom. If, I, if there is anything on this mold that I did not like, it's this piece right here. And mostly because you feel like you're going to break the shield trying to get it off of the, uh, these, the what will become the feet in robot mode. And there we go. These two tabs right here snap into these slots on the bottom of the feet and it's a struggle to get it out and you feel like you're going to break it but you never do so like I said this will become the shield we just rotate the little wheels down like that and he can wear that on his arm now the first step we're going to do is we're going to move these wings out of the way a little bit. We're just going to do that by bringing them out about two notches. One and two. Okay. Next, we're going to take a look at the bottom here. And you, get, you can see an arm here and an arm here. We're going to flip those out. Now, it's pretty tight quarters in this little compartment, so you're going to have to play with it just a little bit to get them to come out properly. But they will come out, and you will have a large cavity in here that looks just like that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull down this bottom section. It's going to become the legs, and it should come down in one piece, both legs at once just like that. Um, next, we're going to take these thrusters and rotate them forward so they're flush with the bottom of what will become the foot. Do the same and then we fold the entire foot down just like that. You can see the feet. Now, your next inclination is going to be to open these shuttle doors. Um, don't do that. It'll make it significantly harder. If you don't do that, you can just pull this front piece down, this, this cockpit section. It'll just rotate down. If you separated those uh, bay doors, the entire left and right section will become loose and it will have to pivot on this front piece instead of the front piece pivoting on the rest of the figure and it becomes sort of sloppy and um, just a mess but uh, we're gonna fold these arms in just to get them out of the way 
Whoops. Watch out for those missiles. They come right up. But they go right in there, so no worries. So we're just going to rotate this down. And we're going to uh, separate these two pieces right here. And pop this front section up just a little bit. Like that. And then we will bring it in. Whoops, the bay doors came apart. Which we did not want to happen. There we go. So the bay doors are back together. And we come down just like that. We're going to fold the head up, turn the head around, push this down. up and then rotate them so they're against the shuttle bay doors. Do the same over here. And we'll bring the arms in right there and over there. We'll bring the arm down on each side, so it's at its full length, and you can see we still have the gun attached to the leg, so we're just going to take that off and just place it in his fist, like so. <coughs> Excuse me. But. That is just about all there is to Astro Train's transformation. Um, I apologize for the seemingly poor lighting, but um, you definitely get an idea of how the figure transforms and what he looks like. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see the new head sculpt. Here is the new head, designed by Dan Canna. Now, I really like the design. The execution, however, is a little off. I mean, I like the head, but I think the face could be just a little bit further back inside the helm. And the eyes just sort of freak me out. To, uh, I don't know what it is about them, but uh, I, I just can't describe it, but they just look odd. But that being said, it's a cool change to an old figure to make a new character based on an old character. But nevertheless, um, pretty cool. That is club exclusive Astro Train. I'm out of time for this segment. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little uh, something new maybe. Remember to check Powit.tv for all of your latest news on gaming, toys, comics, movies, and a whole lot more. And as always, remember kids, open your toys, even if they're exclusives. At the end of the day, they're still meant to be played with.